Welcome to another behind the scenes tour at the temporarily closed Lake Superior Railroad Museum in downtown Duluth at the St. Louis County Depot. We're going to start today's show by ending something like the end of the train. I'm going to put up the marker light and it turns red when you plug it in and that tells trains behind us that there's a train ahead and slow down. But the light could be red or it could be green and it told a different story depending upon what color was showing and I'll tell you that as we continue. Marker lights are like a period at the end of a sentence. They follow the last word. The same thing is true in railroading. This is the last car of the train and it's carrying the marker lights. In this case, beautiful Art Deco teardrop shaped lights. Not like the round ones you found on the car Northland when we were looking at that one. These, these are pretty cool. Red, of course, means that the end of the train is here and the train is moving in that direction. But every so often, this car might be pushed or shoved and now it's going in the other direction. And you have to change the light color from red to green. Another use of the green light and the red light together is if this train were on a siding. Then the rules have you turn the red light that's closest to the main line green. So one red, one green, and the green line closest to the main tells another train coming from the rear that it's safe to pass. So how do you change the color? Well, come on inside, you're in for a treat. In the heavyweight cars, you just move the marker and change it. But in the streamliner cars of the 50s, they came up with a neat idea. You change the lens that easy. And red becomes green or green becomes red. Now, what if you don't have lights? Then what do you do? Let me show you some flags. What if marker lights aren't lights? What if they're flags? Well, that's legal too. We're on a caboose at the end of a train and we've got a flag up. It's green. That could mean one of two things. Remember what we learned. It could mean that the train is going this way and the caboose is being pushed. Or it could be that we're on a siding and the main line is right here and that way another train coming will know that it's safe to pass. When marker lights are flags. Now, here's a marker for you to remember. Always wash your hands, cover your coughs. It's not a task to wear a mask. I keep telling you, Josh is way over there. We're safe, you be safe as well. Keep that social distance and take care of each other.